Now that you know how to use Keynote to create animations by adding shapes and changing backgrounds and using images and that kind of thing, let's talk about some other ways that you can use Keynote to even create a green screen effect. So in order to create a green screen effect um, using Keynote, one of the things that you're going to do is you are going to create a whole Keynote presentation that is developed on a green background. I'm going to go ahead and use this one that I've already started and I'm just going to go to add slide and it's going to be blank. And this time for the background, I'm going to go over here to format and I am going to change the color to green. And um, this like medium green is probably a good one. It looks like that lime green screen background. And then I can add in um, different things. For example, I am just going to copy and paste this guy and I'm going to create one where he let's say maybe drops in. So I'm going to add an effect for build in. I'm going to have him sparkle in. We'll do sparkle. All right. So this guy is going to sparkle in. Okay. Let's add a couple more. So like they're magical and that's going to create the sparkle too. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay. So I've got a couple of these in here and if I press animate and build order, you'll see that it kept all of that, um, all of those builds. Now I can group these together and just put with build one for each one and it will do this all together. So right now they're all going to sparkle in together. So if I play that, there we go. Okay. So I've got this on a green screen. I've got some animation things happening here. Um, I could put some text if I wanted. Um, I'm just going to go here for text, text box, All right? And I want to change my words. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to highlight that, go to format and make it a bit bigger. And then I can just change out the way it looks. Maybe I'll make it pink. There we go. Now I could animate that if I want, or I can just leave it like it is. So I've got, um, I've got my little animation thing ready to go and I'm going to go to file export to movie. And I only want this to go four to four. I don't need all of these cause it was just for this one. <laughs> and, um, that should be it. So I'm going to export that as a movie. The next step is to take a recording, um, a video recording that you have and drop it into iMovie. So I'm going to use one that I just made using QuickTime and I'm just going to drag it from my finder here. And then I am going to um, go find the green screen video that I just downloaded from Keynote and I'm going to drop it down over top. And when I do that, I don't want it to be a cutaway. I want it to be a green blue screen. And what that's going to do, it'll pick up that green area. And then if I drag this over, there you go. So let me play it. Add assets into Keynote so that you can animate them and create different animations and stories. No. You can move that around and it automatically blocks out that green area and then you get those animations inside of there. And when you are ready to share your full thing, you can um, just go up here to the share button and you can share it as a file or to YouTube or however you want to do that. And so that's how you can create impact inside of um, Keynote using that green background and then add it to videos that you've made.